of government, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so I'm going to give everybody just two minutes to introduce yourself. You tell us who you are, where you're from, and what made you choose advertising. Uh, then you tell us also what program that you are doing. Okay, so we'll start with you, Zenzo. There, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're doing advertising. Good, good evening. Well, sorry. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> um, I am Senzo. Um, I'm from Johannesburg, actually. Uh, yeah, I just moved to Durban to, you know, experience or get a taste of independence in a province outside of my own. Um, reason why I chose advertising. See, advertising is part of our daily lives. Like every, it's it's just one thing that we cannot avoid. The beauty in advertising is how much of an impact it has on our morality, basically decision-making skills and you know, differentiating between right and wrong. Everything that we do is mainly influenced by what we see. What we see is influenced by advertising. Things that we like are often influenced and cultivated by what we see in the outside world. So in essence, I wanted to study that wanted to know more about advertising, the psychology behind it. I'm a person that's very much interested in the cultivation of self-intellect. and Therefore, I saw this as an opportunity to express my personality, hence I'm a wild and vibrant person, in advertising and, and try to find myself and gauge how it can actually work for me. And a dream of mine is to own my own advertisement firm and in South Africa, like the likes of Pepe Marais, who owns um, his own advertisement um, industry in Santin. And that's just one of the things that, yeah, okay. made me join advertising. Well, this, that's great. Being an entrepreneur, being your own man, your own boss. Wow. Okay, that's great. Um, next is Akona. Hi everyone, um, my name is Akono Kuzwayo. I stay in Durban. Uh, the reason why I chose advertising is because I feel like it's a way to sell and market things. And I love anything that has to do with marketing and showing off things and selling things. And advertising works for everyone, I guess, and um, it's a it's a great way to interact with your customers and build strong relationships and and people um know about your brand through advertising and so forth. Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, um, Sean. Um, Sean, can you hear us? Okay, I'm not sure if Sean can hear us there. Let's move on to um, Sponga. Yes. yes, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you chose yes. uh, advertising. Um, I'm having a bit of network problems, but I think we'll... Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, Sean, we can't hear you. Uh, did you say anything? Uh, okay, Sean, I think we're having a network problem there. Uh, it's fine. Uh, who else? Uh, Sponga, I don't know if you can hear us. Um, then there is future CEO. I don't know if that's a name or. <laughs> okay, it's fine. So, uh, okay. 
Our future CEO, can you introduce yourself, please? Tell us your name and why you chose Advertise. Okay, so well, you can you can you can speak. I can see a hand up there. Oh, yeah. I think I can. It's still giving me problems. Hey, go ahead, Swonga. Sorry, uh, sir, this thing is still giving problems the network. So uh, I think I'll speak later when it's okay. Okay, but we can hear you now. <laughs> oh, right. Um, so what was the question? Uh, just introduce yourself briefly. Uh, my name is Wong Kezwane and um, I wanna get into film and television. Yes. Okay. Okay, I think that's a problem there, it's fine. Uh, so let's just move on. Uh, Apile, if you can hear us, uh, can you introduce yourself as well? Apile, if you can hear us, just introduce yourself uh, briefly. Mm, okay, I think I feel a maybe network problem. Okay, so guys, welcome to Advertising One. Okay, so this is a broad module, very entertaining, it's full of life, full of energy. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to share my screen with you as we move forward. If you have any questions, just jot it down. As soon as I'm done, you're free to ask me any question. Anything that you, you don't understand, we can converse together, okay? So it's very important that you ask questions. The more you ask questions, the more you're gonna understand uh, all the concepts that we, we're gonna learn, okay? Uh, so I understand everybody can hear me. If you can't hear me, just let me know. Even you can send a message there, I can see it, okay? So let me share my screen with you. Okay. okay. So I'm going to just uh, mute my video here, okay, so that we can all concentrate uh, on the nuts, okay. Uh, I'm sure everybody can see my screen, okay. Okay, so this is our lesson one for advertising, okay. Um, so what is it that we're going to learn in this module? These are the from the company's consumer and advertising engines perspective, pioneers of advertising, uh, ancient evidence. Okay, so these are the things that we, we're going to learn. Okay, the functions are functions of advertising. What is it that advertising do? What is it advertising wants to, to accomplish? Okay, so things like that, these are the things that we, uh, we're going to learn. Okay. Um, then we're going to define what is advertising from the company's consumer perspective. Okay. Then we're going to learn a little bit about who are the pioneers of advertising. That's history of advertising. When did it start? And the evolution of advertising. Okay. Then we're also going to learn about how the evolution affects the present day. Okay. So what is it that you're going to accomplish? What is the goals? What are the aims of all these? Okay, so by the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand and define the functions of advertising. You should be able to define what is advertising. Okay, and what role does advertising play? Customers, at company, or even at agents level. Okay, so you should be, by the end of the lesson as well, you should be able to understand 
the fundamentals of advertising and how advertising is a content work. Okay. So uh, let's get into it now. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Okay. So I understand everybody has seen an advert somewhere, somewhere, either on Facebook, on TV, on radio, anywhere. I'm sure everybody has seen an advert. But what is an advert? How do we define an advert? Okay, so I'll be picking up any name in any way. Uh, I'll start with uh, Asifem. Can you tell us a little bit about what you understand what is advertising? Um, Akona, what is advertising? Um, advertising to me is communication with consumers, if I could say it that way. Because basically you're selling your product, you're trying to sell your product to consumers and it's a way of communication and them understanding and um, knowing what it is, if that makes sense. Okay. So you advertising is about informing potential consumers about a particular product or a service. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's correct. That's advertising. Okay. So as we move on in the lesson, uh, we should, by the end of the lesson, or by the end of this module, we should be able to understand the difference between advertising and other related uh, concepts, such as public relations or direct marketing, communications, client service, events, and things like that. Okay. So we have uh, Philip Kotler here. He defines uh, marketing as the science and art of exploring, creating, and de delivering value to satisfy the needs of a targeted market. Okay. So that's, that's marketing. What is public relations? Public relations is a strategic communication process that builds mutually beneficial relationships between organization and their public. What does that statement mean? It means public relations is planned communication that is meant to create a positive light about the company towards potential customers or any other publics. Okay. So now, advertising is the only element of promotion in marketing that integrate marketing campaign, we use advertising in different other tools. Okay. Uh, so how then do we define advertising? Okay. So there are different number of definitions of advertising. Kotler and Keller defines advertising in a simple, in a simple way. They say advertising is an important element of promotion mix. Okay. And it is a process which gives information to the masses about products and services, just like what you say. It is a paid publicity sponsored by the advertiser. It is persuasion, which is controlled and influences the target audience. Okay. So the purpose there from that definition we can pick is the purpose of advertising is to persuade whoever we are targeting to react, to buy, or to get informed about our product or a service. So that's advertising. So the purpose of advertising is to persuade people to buy whatever that we are selling. Okay. Another definition they say, advertising is the attempt to influence the buying behavior of customers or clients with a persuasive selling message about products or services. Okay, in business, the goal of advertising is to attract new customers. So when you see a company advertising, in a way, so it's advertising to its customers and also it's trying to create new base of customers. For instance, when Spa or ShopRite advertise on TV, they are saying, come and buy in Spa, we have cheap products, we have quality products. Our products are quality guaranteed. So come and shop with us. Okay. 
Why are they advertising? They're advertising to attract new people. They're advertising also to get all those people that buy from Spam to come back again. Okay. So advertising works hand in hand with marketing and communication. These are two concepts that always work together. These are promotional communication means. Okay. Uh, there are six or seven most uh, principles that are found in any definition of advertising. Okay. So any definition of advertising that should be suitable, it should define advertising. It is a paid form of communication. What do they mean when they say it's a paid form of communication? It means he, whoever is advertising, he is paid for that advert. So when we see Coca-Cola advertising, it means Coca-Cola paid for that advert. Okay. Then there is an identified sponsor. Who is the sponsor of any advert? Is he who pay for that communication. So when... Uh, when Nike advertise, that means Nike is the sponsor. That's an identified uh, sponsor. So whenever an advert is airing on TV, or if you can hear an advert on radio or read it in a newspaper, you can easily identify the sponsor. He who is behind the advert. Okay. Then distribution occurs through the media. Definitely. All advertising happens through the media. There are different platforms of media. In this 21st century now, we have also the, the digitalization of the media, social media, websites, Twitter, Instagram. So all the advertisements, they happen through the media. There is no way you can advertise your, your product or your service without the media. Okay. Then a specific audience has to be identified for targeting. So when you create an advert, when a company creates an advert, it's targeting different people is targeting specific people. Not all adverts target everybody. Just like when alcohol is being advertised, they target those that are above 18 years and they target those that drink alcohol. Okay. Just like uh, when Nike is advertising their sneakers, mainly they are targeting those that love sneakers or they are targeting the youths who are more into sneakers or if it's an athletic sneaker, they are targeting those that are into athletics. So every advert that you see, it has a target audience. It doesn't target everybody. Just like when it's uh, during prime time, you've noticed that most adverts that will come through our prime time are those of alcohol, are those of insurance, because they are targeting. With insurance, they are targeting those that have, for instance, if it's a car insurance, those that have cars. They're not targeting those that don't have cars. Why would I need an insurance when I don't have a car? Okay. So every advert, it's specific. Okay. Then there is no personalization of distribution of information. What does that mean? What does that mean? Um, who hasn't said anything here? Zenzo. What does there is no personalization of distribution information in advertising? What do you think it means? Um, I guess, well, according to my understanding, I really don't know, but according to my understanding, I think it refers to it being universal, I guess, not specifically to one person, but to a lot of people, maybe. Correct. You are correct. So when an advert is airing, it's not. Oh, okay. You 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 correct when you say that personalization is not being, it's not targeting me as Cliff, or it's not targeting you as uh, Zenzo or as Apure. No, but it's targeting those that believe in Nike or those that believe in iPhone eight or those that believe in iPhone six, whatever that product that might be advertised. Okay. Just think of this, when an advert of an education institution is being aired on TV or on radio, who are the target market? They are targeting potential students, those that have finished, those that have finished their matric, that want to pursue higher education, those are being targeted. They're not targeting people like me. They're not targeting people who are 70 years old. 
they're not targeting those people that are working already. No, but they're targeting those that have passed their matric, either that they are going to do their diplomas or their degrees. So there is no personalization or distributed information there. They won't personalize it and say, okay, we're targeting you up here, we want you to do this and this now. Okay. So advertising is a deliberate action. Of course, it is a deliberate action. Why is it deliberate? Because we want to persuade people to use either our services or buy our products. So we plan all, so it is plans. People sit down, they think of an idea, creatively plan, creatively come up with whatever concept that they feel like this can market our product or service better. Okay. Um, any questions so far? Any questions? No questions. Okay. Uh, so we can look at different advertisements that have uh, evolutionalized the world of advertisements. Okay. Um, it also, these adverts, they also tell us about the functions of advertising. Okay. Uh, did you get access to these nodes uh, on core campus? Oh, nobody did get access to these nodes. Okay, okay. So, so this for this table that you are seeing here, it, it's showing us the most or the top ten advertising campaigns from 1900 to up to 2000. These were like the best adverts that came out within the this period of under chairs. Okay, uh, Volkswagen. The company, the company, um, the car company, they had a campaign or an advert that they say think small. That advert came out in 1959. It was a very big, big, big campaign or advertisement. The same with Coca Cola. Uh, the post that refreshes came out in 1929. That was again another big um, advertisement. Then we have Marlboro. We have Nike, we have McDonald's, we have the beers, we have Absolute Vodka, we have Miller Life, um, all these, we have our Avis. As you can see, it was 1929, 59, 88, 71, 48. These were the early days of advertisements. And these campaigns, okay, are acknowledged as one of the best advertisement campaigns of all time. Okay, so when you talk of the greatest adverts, we talk of these, okay? So in order for you to relate to what I'm saying, think of an advert that you know very well, either as a kid or even now, think of that advert and think of the memory that you have about that advert. If you have more memory about that advert, it means that advert had more power, it had more energy, because the more you remember an advert, the more it becomes better, okay? Um, okay, so let's move on to the functions of advertising. What are the functions of advertising? So remember, we said there are different definitions of advertising. It can be a marketing communication that employs an openly sponsored non personal message to promote or sell a product or a service. Advertising is there to inform, it's there to persuade people, it's there even to entertain people. Okay, uh, so Remember, advertising is the attempt to influence the buying behavior of customers or clients. What are the functions now? So, advertising is two separate functions. Number one, persuading and informing consumers. These functions translate into convincing customers to buy a product or a service or an idea. Okay, when we say a product, a product, this is something that you can touch. Your shoes, your cell phone, your computer, your t-shirts, anything that you can touch, your handbag, your weave, things like that. A service, these are the things that you cannot touch, but uh, these are very things that we are very important. Okay, so a service can be an education, just like now. 
I'm providing a service to you. Boston as an institution of higher learning is providing a service to you. You can't really touch education, but it's a service. And you, it's a paid service. So they're saying advertising has two functions, to persuade. In terms of persuade, it means it, it tries to influence people to buy a product or a service or an idea. An idea, usually it works more in uh, politics. When ANC or DA or EFF advertise, they are saying to the potential people who can vote, buy this idea, vote for us, your lives will change. EFF will say, vote for us, we're going to give you land. Uh, DA will say, vote for us, we're going to make sure you have uh, delivery services. So that's an idea. Okay. So based on these fundamental functions, advertising is to sell something. Sometimes it can be immediately, but sometimes in the longer term. So by moving consumers through a process that will lead to a buying behavior, that's advertising. Okay. Moreover, uh, advertising can include specific aspects of informing customers. Okay. Let me give you an example. Right now we are living in a pandemic. We have COVID-19. We have seen a lot of adverts on TV about COVID-19. They're not trying to sell anything or when government is advertising about COVID, they're not trying to sell anything, but they are saying, we are informing you that COVID is there. Mask up, sanitize, wash your hands. Okay, so this type of advertisement is there to give information. It's not after selling to get money or profit, but it's there to inform the people. Okay, we have all, we have a lot of advertisements that are not there to sell anything, but to give people information. Think of your HIV and AIDS advertisements. They're there to inform the people that safe sex, practice safe sex, always condomize. If possible, avoid sleeping around so that you won't get HIV. It's informing the people. It's not selling you. Okay. Then under HIV, you can also have now a commercial advertising, advertising of uh, condoms. Those ones now, they are selling their products. They will tell you all the good things about that particular product, okay? So, uh, a new, when advertising, advertising can also function as a way of promoting a new product, creating awareness and interest among prospective customers. You might not know about a particular product. Advertisement is there to inform you, to tell you, no, we have now iPhone, what's the latest iPhone? At 11, I don't know. Whatever that they have now, they are creating an awareness. Okay, now we have new Samsung, uh, whatever, 20 something. That's the purpose of advertising. That's the function of advertising. Another one is supporting a personal selling program. For example, advertising can be used as part of a marketing campaign. Okay, personal selling, this is when we do, as the word says, personal. This is when you walk in a shop, someone walks in the shop to you, he talks to you and say, okay, we have this product, we are selling this product uh, at this cheap price, things like that. They explain the advantages of using that particular product. So we are saying, Advertising, hence it supports that personal selling that you do as a company, okay? Just like now, if you go outside there in town, everywhere, job at uh, Cape Town, Devon, there are so many colleges advertising, come, come learn with us, come learn with us. They're doing personal selling, giving out flyers. Advertising now, it comes in and supports those that are doing also personal selling programs, okay? So remember what I said, advertising is part of marketing as well. Okay. Another thing is advertising can be used as a campaign to support other marketing tactics. Okay. For instance, opening the door for salesmen, ETC, reaching people in accessible to salespeople. The advantage of advertising now is it is mass communication. But this, what does it mean? It means it can reach a lot of people that those who are doing personal selling cannot reach. 
An advert on TV can be viewed by millions of people in Gauteng, in KZN, in Trani, in Cape Town. Okay. That's another function of advertising and its advantage as well. Another thing is entering a new market or creating a new group of customers, which is very true. Advertising do influence people to change certain lifestyles, especially among children and among the youths. Uh, if you're a youth and you're more influenced by hip hop, you tend to get influenced by how Kanye dresses or by how, if it was back in the day, by how um, Michael Jackson dresses. So that's how advertising functions. Okay. Okay. So guys, um, my Zoom gives me 40 minutes. So I'm going to give you uh, a break, a five minutes break. So we're going to continue after five minutes. Is it okay? Hmm? Is it okay, guys? We're going to continue after five minutes. Okay. Because it gives me 40 minutes. So I have to refresh again. Okay, so let's continue after, instead let's start at 11, 11.31. Let's continue at 11.31, okay? <laughs> 